Wall Street is struggling to extend gains for the fourth straight session in a row. We have to keep in mind that there are plenty of political as well as geopolitical risks. So joining me to weigh in on the action is Alan Valdez of Silver Bear Capital. Alan, great to have you here today. Oh, thanks for having me, Remy. Well, right now we're looking at the major equity indexes. We're waiting for the announcement regarding the uh, White House uh, budget for 2018. But for the time being, we're seeing fairly muted trading. So what do you say about Salome and go away? Well, you know, I, I think we may be seeing a little of that right now. But then again, you have the president out of the country. He's not twittering at all. So that's keeping the market kind of flat. And like you said, we're waiting for that budget. But, you know, things seem to be back on track, even though it's very light today. It's like watching grass grow down here. It's very quiet. But yet we are on the positive side here. Uh, no real big news and no big earnings except for that budget that you mentioned coming out later on. But otherwise, all well, things are smooth. Well, as we look at the rest of the week, uh, we'll be paying attention to the Fed meetings. And given what we're seeing in Treasuries, as well as the U.S. currencies, as well as Fed fund futures, there have been uh, some talk about not getting a rate hike next month. But what do you make of the latest uh, data? We saw the latest housing figures drop in April, and that uh, flash PMI figure did come in mixed, with manufacturing falling and services up. I still think it's not enough to sway the Fed. I mean, if we had seen, I think that down 300 and change last Wednesday, probably a one-off for the time being. So I think if we had seen a few more days of that where the Dow really tanked under maybe 25 or something like that, but right now we're back to highs. We're at 20,900 and change, almost back to 21,000. I think the Feds are going to still raise rates. I don't see any reason for them to really pull back. Again, barring some major flip here, but I don't see that happening. I really don't. And one of the reasons, like I said, volume is so light. Even though we're up, I think traders are just watching things right now. They're waiting for the president to come back. If things out of Washington, there's no news. I mean, it's always blaring in the headlines, all this other stuff. So I think basically we're quiet. I think come June, we'll be fine. Remember, uh, another thing, Washington's going on vacation next week. They're gone. So get rid of them. But, uh, well, <laughs> you know. well, Alan, as you mentioned, uh, we will be getting a holiday weekend here in the U.S., so markets will be closed on Monday. But before that, we'll be getting that long-awaited OPEC meeting. And as we all know, uh, an o output cut is expected. But we also saw some interesting price action in energy today. Oil futures were down. Uh, this did come on the heels of uh, news that the budget uh, proposal here in the U.S. would include selling part of the oil reserves here in the U.S. And that could... Uh, way on what OPEC is actually trying to do. So what do you make of that? Yeah, that's that was a surprise to see that in the budget, selling the reserves. Personally, I don't find that a good idea. But, you know, we are an exporter now, so we are pumping out a lot of oil. Maybe it's the right thing to do. I don't know how quick it is to fill up half the reserve if we do sell in a case of emergency. But I know all these frackings are doing great. They're pumping. So it almost makes OPEC irrelevant. I don't know if it's they're even worth talking about much anymore. We have so much oil, and we're so, uh, you know, we're more economical now, we, we're more efficient. So I think oil may have reached a peak in this, you know, $50, $60 range. Uh, and I don't know if it can go any higher. I don't know where the new buyer is going to come to in oil. That's the problem. And last but not least, before we wrap it up, at the end of this week, a G7 leaders will be meeting in Sicily. And although we can never expect anything of significance to actually come out and affect the broader market, what kind of commentary will you be watching for? Well, you know, I have to watch uh, the president. This is his first meeting, so it should be interesting. Uh, see how things work, especially with the uh, British, ex British exit out of the EU, uh, what happens there. Uh, so I think it's going to be a very interesting summit. But again, nothing ever comes out of those things. Okay, Alan. Well, thank you so much for joining me and have a great holiday weekend.